at Strathcona Park. And we're camping. And it's February. Oh yeah, tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Don't forget to phone your mom. Actually, I'm going to have to Garmin inReacher. Yo, check this out, guys. If you like exploring the backcountry, then you should get one of these. Right here. Yeah. This is the Garmin inReach Mini. Can you see that? Uh, focus. It's focusing on me. Focus. Okay, there it is. Garmin inReach. It's kind of expensive to buy, but if you live somewhere like we do in Campbell River, then uh, this thing's pretty handy. You can text your loved ones, or if you get into trouble, you can SOS. It's actually the buttons underneath. I'm not going to mess with that. And you can track your um, coordinates and all that good stuff. So we got this because our teenager doesn't want to come with us anymore. And, uh, well, not all the time. So, yeah. Pick yourself up one of these if you like going out in the back country. We already texted her. I told her to put the towels in the dryer. <laughs> Uh, my uh, my coworker here. No wait, what did I call you? <laughs> my my uh, my colleague here doesn't like to be on camera. That's okay. We're gonna go for a walk. This is the campground I built. Actually, you guys want to see it? I'll show you where we're camping. soup fully loaded potato soup mix these are super deadly soups you guys should pick some up Ooh, shit. what was that oh you know just dropping your phone just drop my phone into the fire ah oh yeah We should turn that on. Throw the potatoes in there. Oh yeah. Throw those potatoes in. Okay. All right. Oh, Jesus. The hell? This thing's in the way. That's why. It's not like a walking place. There we go. I love this thing, but it gets in the way. <laughs> Just kidding. I boiled the potatoes for 20 minutes in seven cups of water, and now we just gotta cut this little piece off. Oh, awesome ingredients! We need to dump all this in. And you got make sure you turn it down like the heat because I made this a couple weeks ago and I left the heat up too high. And the rice started to burn on the bottom of the pot, like right away. It says to frequent, frequently stir. So, make sure you do that. Oh, that looks good. So yeah, you wanna make sure you turn it down. Yeah, I gotta 
nice and low now. And just make sure you stir it. Don't go sit on the couch and watch your favorite YouTuber and forget about your soup. Make sure you stir it. So we'll let that simmer. How long did that say? So you gotta let that simmer 20 or 30 minutes, stirring regularly. Oh, I forgot you could put bacon in there. But Julia's vegetarian. Pescatarian, actually, because we're going to put salmon in there. We'll put a can of salmon in there and some corn. But no bacon. That's okay. And we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, guys. Look at that soup. It's looking good. Oh, man. That's been cooking for about half hour. We're just gonna add some corn. Maybe like a half a cup or so. Cause we like corn. And we got a can of salmon. Some sockeye. Oh yeah, look at that. Smells salmony. Just gonna dump it in there, juice and all. All right, can of salmon, guys. Woo! Yep. Sorry about the heater, but it's cold outside, so I know it's probably making some noise. Hopefully, you can hear me. And can can salmon man? I add this to like soup all the time, or like we make fish hash with it, fish and rice. Who makes fish and rice with can can salmon? Anyone? Julia. <laughs> There's the soup. Mmm. Just gonna put a little bit of pepper in there. A little bit of salt. And we got some buns. We got some butter. What's this say? Butter flake rolls. Six pack. Here it is, guys. Finished product. I'm going to have a nice biscuit. It's a butter flake biscuit. From Tim Hortons. From Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. I must have drank some Cronus tonight. It's from Save On Foods. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sign out for the night. Because uh, I need to eat some grub and hit the sack. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good morning, guys. Hot cup of joe. It's the next morning out at Upper Campbell Lake. And uh, I'm just going to go down for a little walk on the beach. Hell yeah. That was a good night. Our uh, batteries kept the heater going all night. So that was a good thing. Yeah. Here's our campground, you guys think. Built by yours truly. We were here last year and built out this whole campground here. Yep. Yeah, so this is Upper Campbell Lake Campground and uh, it's here last year. As many of you know, who know me personally, I'm a HOA operator, work for a company called Upland Contracting, and uh, yeah, 
All right, here's a good test for the boots. Nice little creek. I got these new hikers. They are keen. They're supposed to be waterproof, so let's try them out. Oh yeah. Not bad. This place is epic. Look at that view this morning. Just had some oatmeal for brekkie. Had myself my ghost greens. If you guys drink greens powder and you want one that tastes good, try ghost greens. It's delicious. I get the lime flavor and uh, it's not even nasty at all. I just like drink that. I like crave drinking that in the morning. Yeah, look at this place. It's friggin' awesome over here. So, <clears throat> many of you know I have a drone and I have this helipad double-sided and it's perfect for a spot like this where there's lots of rocks and stuff so just throw that down on a, on top and you can take off with your drone so this is the DJI Mini 2 comes in this sweet little case this is the fly more combo so you get the case, you get three batteries. Here's the drone here, nice and compact. I can just unfold it. I could literally just, even if I didn't have that case, I could just throw this in my bag. Or even in your pocket, for that matter. I also purchased these uh, little extender legs. They just attach on and you can fold them down. And then you got a little bit more clearance for when you're landing so the propellers don't hit because without them it lands pretty low and if you're like rocky area like this you can potentially hit the wings on like a rock or something and i need the batteries here's the batteries you get the three pack here you got the weirdos unite sticker right there you can even use this as like a phone charger. So all th you press that little button on the side and it shows that all three are fully charged. You just pull one out of the slot, throw it in the drone. But what's nice is you can, it's got a USB port right here and you could plug in like say your phone if your phone is dying or any other devices and use this as like an extra battery pack. So that's pretty sweet. So you just pop that in the back of the drone. And this is the DJI Mini 2, so it's under 249 grams, which makes it so I don't have to have a drone's license, like a pilot license. And uh, so that's pretty sweet. So you just double tap that. That's the power button. You'll see the camera do its thing there. A little gimbal test. So that what's great about this is like doesn't matter how it's flying, that camera is gimbaled, so it'll be nice smooth footage. So for 700 bucks, like this thing is your best bet. This thing's 4K, so and just like that. This thing's fully GPS, so it reads off the satellites. So I'm not even putting my hands on the controls. When your hands are off the controls, it just hovers there. Let's give her. 
Cue cinematic music and epic drone footage. 10-4, roger that.